Hello and welcome to the Cloud Computing School YouTube channel. In this video, we will provide you with instructions on how to create an Azure Machine Learning Workspace and then open and run a Jupyter Notebook with Python code, inside the Azure ML Studio portal. Carry out the following steps. Navigate to the Azure ML Studio at ml.azure.com and log in with your Azure subscription credentials. The login credentials you use must have sufficient permissions to create a new machine learning workspace and create compute instances to be associated with that ML workspace. After logging into the Azure ML Studio, check that you are logged in the correct Entra ID directory. If not, change directory to choose the appropriate one. Go to the Create a New Workspace to get started with Azure ML section. Provide an ML workspace name, an existing Azure subscription, a new or existing resource group and an Azure region. After providing all required parameters for the ML workspace, click Create. After a few moments, you should be landed to the Azure Machine Learning Studio. The ML workspace provisioning should normally take a few minutes. Go ahead and explore the Azure ML Studio sections while you wait for the workspace to be provisioned. On the left ML Studio menu, you have the following sections. On the home page, you get a list of learning resources, tutorials and additional resources. Also you get the following submenus. 1. Workspaces 2. Feature Stores 3. Registries Under Shared Assets, you have the following sections. 1. Components 2. Environments 3. Models 4. Data Under Admin, you have the following sections. 1. Quota 2. should review the Azure Machine Learning documentation, which is available at https learn.microsoft.com slash n dash us slash Azure slash machine dash learning. While you navigated around the Azure ML Studio sections, your ML workspace must have been provisioned. Go to the ML Studio homepage or to the workspaces section and you will find your newly provisioned ML workspace. Click on the workspace name to get started. Inside your new ML workspace, you will discover some sections, namely the Generative AI with Prompt Flow, the Generative AI Models, the Notebook Samples, Shortcuts, Recently Viewed Items, Compute Instances, Documentation, Favorites and Recent Jobs. You can customize which sections appear inside your workspace and the order in which they appear, by clicking on the Customize View icon on the top right corner.
you also have the option to create a new object inside your ML workspace by clicking on the new button on the top right corner. This allows you to create a handful of new objects, depending on your scenario, such as a new component, a new compute cluster or instance, a new data store, data asset, data labeling project, endpoint, environment, model, notebook, pipeline, spark job or training job. On the left menu of your ML workspace, you find the following options. Under Authoring, you get access to Notebooks, Automated ML, Designer and Prompt Flow. Under Assets, you get access to data, jobs, components, pipelines, environments, models and endpoints. Under Manage, you get access to compute, monitoring, data labeling and linked services. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will go ahead and create a new Jupyter Notebook inside our ML workspace. Click on Notebooks on the left menu under Authoring. You can add files of any type, including Jupyter Notebooks. IPIN. The files you see here are stored in the workspace file share, and are accessible and shared within the workspace. In order to run notebooks and scripts, you must connect to an Azure Machine Learning Compute resource. Once a notebook or terminal is connected, you can access all workspace assets including experiment details, data, models, and more. Under Label Notebooks click on Samples, then expand the SDK v2, Tutorials, Azure Mail Getting Started folder. Click on the Azure ML Getting Started, dot, IPIN file name. When you open this Jupyter Notebook, you will see its series of sections, comprising both Markdown text and Python code. This sample Jupyter Notebook covers the full range of the ML pipeline, including the following actions. 1. Connect to Workspace and set up a compute resource on the Azure Machine Learning Studio Notebook UI2. Bring data in and prepare it to be used for training. 3. Train a model for image classification. 4. Analyze metrics for optimizing your model. 5. Deploy the model online and test. To be able to run any Python code inside the notebook, you first need to set up a compute resource inside your ML workspace. To do that, carry out the following steps. Click on the Compute icon under the Manage section on the left menu. You can choose among creating compute instances, compute clusters, Kubernetes clusters and attached compute resources, such as an HD Insight cluster, a virtual machine, or a Databricks cluster. Every compute instance is pre-configured with popular tools such as Versus Code, Jupyter Lab, Jupyter, and Studio. ML packages, deep learning frameworks, and GPU drivers.
At the middle of the page, click New to create a new compute instance. Provide a compute name, a virtual machine type, CPU versus GPU, and virtual machine size. Choose the CPU and RAM combination which best suits your needs, taking into account the CPU quota and the expected monthly costs. Click Next. On the scheduling page, choose if you need to have auto shut down and optionally add customized schedules. Click Next. On the security page, you get the option to configure security settings such as SSH, virtual network, root access, and managed identity for your compute instance. Click Next. On the Applications page, add custom applications you may want to use on your compute instance. Click Next. On the Tags page, add tags, each comprising a name and value tuple, with information to categorize the resources you create. Click Next. On the Review page, review all your options for the Compute Instance and click Create. This might take significant time to complete, depending on the size of the hardware requested for the virtual machines. After the Compute Instance has been created, go back your Jupyter Notebook, by clicking on the Notebooks icon in the left side menu. If you need to edit the notebook, you must click on Clone this notebook on the top level of the notebook. Click Clone to continue. First you need to authenticate to the Compute Resource. Click the Authenticate button on the top right side of the notebook. You should get a success message saying successfully authenticated to the Compute. You can now use any Azure SDK. In the notebook's first section, you must enter your workspace credentials before you run the script. In all Jupyter Notebook cells, you have the option to run all above this cell, run this cell only, freeze the cell or run this cell and all below. This concludes the basic tutorial on how to set up an Azure Machine Learning Workspace and Jupyter Notebook inside the Azure ML Studio. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Cloud Computing School YouTube channel to receive more free videos like this.